Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be connecting the DJI Mic2 transmitter to the new Insta360 Ace Pro 2 just using Bluetooth. How does it work and what else do you need to know? Coming up. Now, the onboard microphones of the new Insta360 Ace Pro 2 are pretty good, but sometimes you just need an external microphone. And the DJI Mic 2 is a great option. Now, of course, you could use the entire DJI Mic 2 system, but one of the cool things about the DJI Mic 2 is that the transmitter can connect on its own just using Bluetooth which makes your setup really simple, your camera remains waterproof, and of course if that works for you, then this is all you have to buy. So today we're taking a closer look at connecting these two together using Bluetooth. We'll look at how the pairing process works, the configuration options, and what else you need to know. So a pretty short video for you today, but as usual, I'll place the chapters up here and on the video timeline. But before we get into it, the usual disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, paid for, or influenced in any way. I purchased all of the equipment with my own money and the opinions are entirely my own. Also, if you enjoy our video today, please remember to give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel for a lot more similar content. So let's get on with it. Okay, let's go through the initial pairing process to connect our DJI Mic 2 transmitter to the Ace Pro 2. Now, important to know first off is that regardless of whether you bought this as a standalone transmitter or as part of a set, all DJI Mic 2 transmitters have two modes of communication. They have what I call the dedicated receiver mode where it connects to the DJI receiver and it has a Bluetooth mode, and obviously we're going to be using the Bluetooth mode. Now the way you can tell which mode it's in is by this status light on the side. You can see right now it's blinking green. Green means that it's in the receiver mode, and it's blinking because it doesn't currently have an active connection. Now the way we're going to change that to the Bluetooth mode is by using this button here, the record button, and we're going to be holding that down for about three to four seconds. And if I do that now, you'll see that the light now changes to blue and also begins blinking because once again, it does not currently have an active connection. But now we are in the Bluetooth communication mode. So on my Ace Pro 2, I'm going into the menu and here you'll notice a microphone icon. This is where we're going to connect our Bluetooth microphone. So I'm going to go into the microphone menu. You can see built-in microphone, audio settings, and at the bottom here you can see no Bluetooth audio device connected, connect now. First I'm going to put my microphone into pairing mode, and the way I do that is by holding down this link button, the upper button here, and when I hold this down, you'll notice the blue light now flashes quickly, and on the Ace Pro 2, I hit that button and it begins searching. And after a few seconds, it finds the DJI mic. And I click that. And now the two are paired. If we go out of settings, you can now see on the display, there is what is actually an AirPods icon which shows me that the microphone is connected. And you can also see the audio level bar at the top of the screen, which is also an indication that you have an external microphone connected. Now, as far as configuration options are concerned, it's really quite basic. If you go to your menu, go back to that same microphone options, and you'll notice in the top right, there is an adjuster for the settings. So we go in here and you notice you can adjust the Bluetooth microphone gain. So you can set it from plus nine dB if you find that you need it a little bit louder, or if it's too loud, you can take it all the way down to minus 18 dB. Now, 
Now, once these two devices are paired, unlike older Insta360 cameras, they actually stay paired. So, for example, if I power off the microphone now, you'll notice on the camera that it tells me that the Bluetooth headphones were now disconnected, and obviously now any recording will be done using the onboard microphones. As soon as I power the microphone back on again, you'll notice it reconnects immediately and now recording will be done using the external Bluetooth microphone. Now, if I power off the camera, it's a little different. So when I power the camera back on, you'll see that it does reconnect, but it takes about 15 to 20 seconds before it does so. You'll notice right now my microphone is flashing blue because it's currently not connected. But after a few seconds, as you can see, it reconnects automatically. And similarly, if I power off both the camera and the microphone, when it comes to powering back on again, I find that it's easiest to just give the camera a few seconds to boot up. And then you can power on the microphone and it very quickly reconnects. And also good to know, even if you remove and replace the battery, again, unlike older Insta360 cameras, the connection will stay in place and it will automatically reconnect. And one additional thing which has been improved versus earlier Insta360 cameras is that you can now have more than one active Bluetooth connection. So as you can see here, I have the GPS preview remote connected and I also have the Bluetooth microphone connected at the same time. Now you may have noticed that whenever you connect the Bluetooth microphone to the camera, a somewhat confusing message pops up which says that both the Bluetooth microphones and the camera microphones are enabled. Now what that means is when you have a Bluetooth microphone connected and you make a recording, the camera will actually record both tracks from both the Bluetooth microphone and the onboard microphones. Now, if you take the standard video file and share it or put it into a video editor, the audio track will be the one from the Bluetooth microphone. But if you take that file and load it into either the Insta360 app on your smartphone or the Insta360 Studio, you actually have access to both audio tracks and you can mix them in whatever proportion you want, 100% from the Bluetooth, 100% from the onboard microphones or anything in between. And this gives you some interesting options. For example, you could combine a narrated voice recorded on the Bluetooth microphone with some ambient sound recorded on the camera's microphones all in the same track. Okay, so time for a quick demonstration. Let's start out by using the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. I'm sure the audio quality is just fine, but of course that will change if I move further away from the camera. If I turn away from the camera, I turn my back to the camera, obviously my voice will be much less clear. And that is obviously where something like a wireless microphone comes in handy. Okay, and now let's do the same thing, but this time using the DJI Mic 2, now connected by Bluetooth to the Ace Pro 2. I'm sure the sound quality is pretty similar to what you heard before with the onboard microphones, but of course, if I move further away from the camera, if I turn away from the camera, turn my back to the camera, I'm sure that my voice will remain perfectly clear at this short distance. Now, one interesting thing that I did discover during this demonstration, in fact, is that you cannot change the microphone type during a recording. So, for example, right now I'm talking to you over the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. The DJI Mic 2 is powered off. Let's go ahead and power it on. 
I get the confirmation that it's connected. I also see the iPod symbol up in the top corner of the screen. However, I'm not seeing the level meter. And also you'll notice if I move away from the camera, if I turn away from the camera, you're clearly still listening to me on the onboard microphones and not using the DJI mic. So I think that covers pretty much everything you could possibly want to know about connecting your DJI Mic 2 to the Insta360 Ace Pro 2 using Bluetooth. Although one thing we did not cover and that is how does the audio quality compare between the Bluetooth connection versus using the DJI receiver plugged into the Ace Pro 2? Well, that's actually something I plan on covering in a future video, and that brings me to my closing pitch. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel, and remember to hit the alert button so when that and other similar videos post, you can be alerted. If you have any comments, any questions, if you want to share your input, please drop those into the comments section. Otherwise, thank you for watching.